Hey, good morning and welcome back to Tips and Tricks for GS Pro version 2. In this quick little video, I'm going to talk about the settings, settings and the visual settings. Visual settings, this right hand side. So we're going to have the hide UI on shot. Hide UI on shot, that is going to result in everything in the graphical going away. If I hit click save and go into a game, we will take a look at what that looks like. Okay, so when we go to take a shot with the hide UI on, everything goes away in the user interface. It's just you and the golf course to enjoy your wonderful shot, in this case, into the sand. Now, we got our interface back. It will go away when I take the shot. into the water all right let's drop it all right great let's go back into settings once again all right that was hide ui shot aim indicator is something you can turn on and off in the game and see what that looks like the club selector that is in the lower left hand side Enable distance display is going to be counting up or down. I will show you that as well. Enable the gimme circle. The ball trail size is going to be how big that line is and the color. The intro. The reason I wanted to talk about the intro is because this transition right here, you only can turn on and off to have an effect before you start the round. So clicking this on will mean that the whole intro will float in from over the tee box and slide down to the green and to the tee box, giving you an overview of the entire hole. Green to tee transition will fly you from the green of the hole you just finished. It'll fly you over and up above the tee as it uh, transitions in. So let's take a look at that. All right. So let's save these settings and I will go through these others later on. So when we set this game up, we set this up to have the visual setting of green uh, hole intro and green to T transition are both turned on. So let's see what happens when we hole out, maybe. All right, so now we're going to be flown from the green to the T box in this transition and down into this transition. Fantastic. All right, keep in mind that we have at this point the visual turned off for green to T. So this is only the whole intro GUI or animation that you, oops, that was a bad shot. Oh, I guess not. All right, so this is only the transition by itself, not green to T. It just floats you in from top, giving you an overview look. All right, let's talk about this show aim indicator. We'll turn it off, we'll save, and you will see that when I aim, nothing's there. I go ahead and hit my show aim indicator, uh, visual show aim indicator on, save. Now as I aim on the mini map, you will see that where I'm aiming, I'm 338, 339, It'll show you that I'm aiming at the other fairway, but it'll show you up close and personal the shot aim indicator. Next, let's talk about the club selector. This is show or hide. Let's save that. Lower left hand corner, the, the club selector is gone. Let's go back and turn it on. Uh, club selector show, hit save. And now the club selector is there. Um, some launch monitors don't. Um, some uh, launch monitors don't require it. Um, some do. So if you need it, it's there. Visual settings, and you go back to auto hide and save. So I'll take my shot. I used it and now it's gone. 
I've made my clip selection and now it's gone. I personally like to have it turned off. I don't need it, so hide. Enable distance, the little uh, tick box next to your shot. This right here, that is the indicator right there. That is the amount of distance I have left. Changing that to count down or count up. Save, it'll show you how far you actually hit the ball. I don't care how far I hit the ball because I get that information from the tiles up here. I like to know how much I have left in preparation for my next shot. So count down. Enable gimme circle. That is the circle visual setting that you see. Um, let's turn that off. Save. You'll notice that there is no gimme circle there. Um, and let's see. And there is no, oops, that was a bad shot. And get on up there. All right, see, there's no visual gimme circle around the stick at all. Okay, so that's all the enabling of the gimme circle is going to give you. And fast forward that. All right, so let's turn that back on so you can take a look. Visual, enable gimme circle, save. And then on my next, um, it's either gonna be on my next shot or on the next hole, the gimme circle, yeah, it'll be on the next hole. So the gimme circle will come back to us. Settings, visual, what else we got? Your ball, standard thick, color whole intro, and the follow cam. So that's gonna be how long that cam follows. So we set it all the way low, hit save. When we take our shot, we're gonna stand back very quickly, all right? It's gonna just take off. And we're gonna have to aim a little over here. And you notice our gimme circle is back. All right, so on our next hole, we're going to turn off or change the cam to very high. All right, so settings, visual, delay is very high, save. Now the camera is not gonna take off until way after the shot is taken, much like in real life golf and it'll just hurry up and catch up at the end. All right. And that should take care of our settings. Thanks for stopping by.